I tried to wait as long as I possibly could to make this video, but sometimes you just have to realize some things just won't happen. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to share with you um, my very first AliExpress haul. Uh, I did not get any washi. Usually, typically, people get washi when they shop AliExpress or stickers. I need neither of those things. So I wanted to try actually some popular planner related um, stationary dupes. Like that's what I'm in planner dupes. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to try the Chinese version of these that are quality Chinese made products or Japanese made products. Either or or other countries made products. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> so I um, went to AliExpress, ordered a bunch of things last month, and I tried to stall and wait because I'm actually still waiting for another item to come so I can do them all at once. But I've just accepted the fact that it's been almost two months and since I ordered and it's not coming. It's lost. It's It's gone with the wind, honey. So let me stop talking so we can get started. So with the Hobonichi, um, what is it, weeks craze, I refuse to get a Hobonichi weeks. <laughs> just on principle because I don't like following trends like people get really happy and follow trends but I wanted to see kind of see what what the fuss is about without actually buying it I don't know I just wanted to try it and see what it looked like and I ended up buying this Kenbor um brand faux Hobonichi Weeks so let me really quickly I think I paid ten dollars for this this I paid ten dollars for that includes the shipping price it comes in this cute little box it may come a little dented because of shipping but it came in this cute little box and it comes with this cute little it's it's planner and also a pen a multicolored pen so you got black blue red that matches and it came in three colors or four was it four colors gray pink teal I want to say white too and um yeah the box is cute the packaging was nice that's this little it says it is a weekly planner I you know what I love about getting things from like Japan or China is seeing their translations which can be very funny like this says I have been looking for that belongs to each season's unique taste Alrighty then. <laughs> so really quick, so the inside of this bad boy is like, it's fiber. It's some sort of fibrous paper. It's thicker. Um, the paper, since I've never had a, had a Hobonichi, I am not familiar with the Tamo River paper or Tamoe River paper, Tamoe River paper. I'm not familiar with it, but this feels like nice smooth quality paper it's not like my stology paper either it's much thicker it shows you it gives you a little overview of what the pages are in Chinese because I and I can't read read Mandarin if that is Mandarin um, this is your two years at a glance they call it a yearly plan so this is nothing laid out like the Hobonichi Weeks from pictures I've seen. But, I mean, this is their own version. Here is their monthly. There's enough for 12 months. If I can get through these 12 months. Yeah. And it goes straight into, oh wait, the weeklies, which is that typical Hobonichi style horizontal layout except for the fact that I guess the days of the weeks are more over here than over here and your blank grid sheet that you can use for whatever so you have quite a few weeks of those and then it gets into line sheets it's not a lot of line sheets but 
you have your notes pages here where you can write your subject and the date of your note or whatever and you get to the end and there's this pocket and it comes with cute little tab stickers some stars some hearts and different colors some circles and some squares for you to use as you see fit but there's your tab your tabs for your months you can mark your months oh and it also comes with two bookmarks one's darker one's lighter and they coordinate with the cover that's the end of that guy the pen, I don't know. I don't know how the pen writes. Let's see here. Let me bust out my clipbook here. It's a ballpoint, I think. Or is this a gel? No, it's a gel. I mean, it writes smoothly. It's a pen. It's not, you know, nothing to write home to your mom about. But for 10 bucks, that's what you get. So if you're interested in the Hobonichi Weeks but don't want the Hobonichi price tag, this is a good alternative for you to actually try and see if it's something that you want to purchase because it's only $10 versus $30 to $50 depending on where you buy it. So, stationary dupe one, done. All right, I also got, I got a, I got a lot of pens. So here is their... Muji style pens. <laughs> this is a 12 piece set. I paid, what did I pay for this? Let me look at my notes. Fake Muji's for this 12 pack. I got paid $3.91 versus the opportunity to pay $12.50. So these are the, the Muji's, which here they're called Youthun. Youthun? Youth. You. I'm just gonna go with you fun and it came in this little cylinder and these are all the pins so I figured you guys would want to see me test out some of these pens so I'm gonna actually use my exceed here and actually use the back of this pen test to see how they write these are 0.05 tip and as you can see it comes in a wide array of colors like so for usually our planner babes here, they traditionally go with the black, just the black. Oh wait, that's not even black. This is the black. <laughs> they go with just the black, but I wanted to try all the colors to see. Although I can't imagine what the heck you would use yellow for. That's, that's pretty bright. But yeah, let's, let's write something really quick. Well, from the looks of it, this guy did not make it. So, yeah. So, 11 out of 12. This guy doesn't. This guy did not make it. And you know what? 11 out of 12 for four bucks. I guess that's that's not bad. Although that is a really pretty color. But. The ones that did work <laughs> wrote really smoothly and easily, except for this jerk. <laughs> and these are gel pens. I'm sorry, I didn't mention that. But these are gel pens, and they actually really do write really nicely. So if Muji pens are actually, you know, are something, they write anything even like this or better than these, in this testing, I approve. This one can suck it. <laughs> that one, that one doesn't want to work. So maybe I'll play with it later to try and make it work. I don't know. And I also bought this Muji style pin case, this little heart, one of like their harder pin cases as two compartments here. I mean, I guess you can put like erasers or I don't know if you use mechanical pencils, the lead, pens, pencils. This I paid two dollars and seven cents for. I did not look up what the actual cost of this is from Muji, so it may be more, maybe less. But it feels really good quality. I don't know. Let me drop it. 
yeah, I dropped it and kind of threw it and it survived. So yeah, this seems really good quality. Another dupe done. All right, now this I got surely because I thought it, the name was hilarious. So these are highlighters and they are, I guess, the Chinese version of mild liners. And honest to God, the only reason why I bought these is because I found it hilarious that they said milk liners. That's, that's the only reason. <laughs> I mean, and these are some pretty decent looking dupes. I mean, other than the fact that the tips are clear, because if you look, these are my mild liners and they have the pin clip here and milk liner. Like they have the audacity to try and be as close as possible to mild liners. <laughs> But you know, milk liners. I'm not a big snob, uh, big snob, a big snob when it comes to highlighters themselves because I mean, their job is to highlight. So, oh, I guess I should try the little side too, huh? Little side, big side. The little side doesn't, the fine tip is not that fine to be honest. But what did I pay for these? Four dollars and what is this? Four dollars and four cents versus the cost of my liners, which are currently, which I'm currently basing off the Amazon pricing of like sixteen dollars and eighty-eight cents. I'm just saying, for under five dollars, you can do heck of worse. I had to bust out Baymax real quick. Let's see which one looks remotely similar. Let's see. These are the mild liners. Yeah, see, nothing looks like that one. How about this purple? Ooh, that's actually a match. Come here, is that you? Is that you, guy? Is that you? No. <laughs> There's like three different purples. Okay, it's not an exact match, but it's pretty flipping close. You know what this one doesn't have? It doesn't have a gray. That's weird. I guess we did all the bright colors, but it does not have a gray. Oh, there may be another exact, like really close match. Let's see. Uh, so yeah, it's not, I mean, they're not terrible. They're, they're, they're flipping highlighter or they're flipping subdued highlighters. I don't know what more you could expect from this. Like. For $4, not bad dupes, like at all. Although to be fair, this is probably going to Baby Planet Earth for school this year. Um, Now these, there's no dupe for. These I'm actually excited to try because they're color changing highlighters. Like, I don't know, sometimes you just fall for the gimmick. <laughs> This is one of those times for me. So I want to try these out to see if you're supposed to, what are, what are these? I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. You're supposed to ha like have one color on one end and then use this white blender tip looking end to change the color. So let's see. I just wanna try it. <gasps> so cool. Ooh, that's dark. That is not a highlighter color. These must just be markers. There's no way these are highlighters. I mean, the pink is highlighted, but that purple, Lord, okay. <gasps> what? That's amazing. Okay, so this is what, with the exception of this guy, this is what they look like with the color changingness. Some of these are just outright markers and you change and then you just 
color over it to get the highlight color. I mean, some of these you can pass for like highlighters. I don't, although I don't know why you would need a darker color over the highlight color, but this color doesn't show up very good at all. Let's see what it looks like on the back. Uh, and you can, and even with this big patch of watercolor, you can still see bleed, some, some shadowing. You're gonna see shadowing. So if you put this on any thinner type paper, these, both of these markers are going to shadow the crap out of you. Let me try and see if I can bring it up close. Even with this big swatch, you can still see the shadowing from the color changing highlighters. So we're gonna move on. So I got some post-its and sticky notes or sticky notes, whatever you wanna call it, sticky notes, because I love them. And I got these, I thought these were supposed to be sticky notes. They're not sticky notes. Uh, I don't even know how to make these work, but they're transparent. They're very uh, translucent. They're translucent, lucent, lucent, and I thought, I swear, I thought, and the ones I thought I just ordered were the ones that said Instagram. But apparently, I have, like, the, I mean, these, the, the Instagram ones, which are falling all over the place. Ones that say, new message. And I don't know what these say. They could say, I hate you but it looks like a new message or a social media type thing. And I thought these were supposed to be sticky notes, they were supposed, to, but they're not sticky notes and they're just, you know, flying free. So I don't really know how I'm gonna use these now. I guess I can back them with um, some reusable, like a re reusable glue stick. But let me see how they write. These pens are actually, you know, this may be my new go-to right here. This seems, this one, that one seems promising. So, I guess if you find the right type of pen, these will work. These will work. Work at what? I don't know. I don't, I wasn't expecting them to be loose. You know what, I'm just gonna stick them in here so they don't fly all over the place. I also got some of these, like one of the planet themed sticky notes. This is for my summer setup, so you'll see it later. And then I also got these cool weekly plan, um, these aren't even sticky notes, this is just like a pad, it's just a pad. And I thought this would be great for when I pre-plan. And then I bought these, which I'm gonna take a mad L on for these. <laughs> because these were, what? How much was this? I'm trying to find it in my notes, sorry. These were 11.56. So the Tombow's, a 10 pack is $14 and some semi odd cents. If you go get your Ohuhus, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, which is a 60 pack for 20 bucks. And then Amazon has their own brand of dual brush pens, which is a 30 pack for, what is it? $12.50. So this one, I'm gonna take the L on when it comes with the pricing and saying that I was stupid <laughs> for buying these on AliExpress. Especially considering, I don't know, I'm looking at it and it comes in this tray, which, you know, I guess is nice. They're, you know, they're, these are thin. And you know what I'm noticing? I don't have a red. Like I got 8 million purples. But let's see, but I don't have a red. See, purple, purple, more purple, and a billion greens, like, what? Who needs this many greens, son? Nobody. So, what? Let's 
do this because this is and I have two exact yellows So I have two, <coughs> two yellows, two of whatever this color is. Holy guacamole. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, these look the same too. What? Yeah, so this is what happens when you order from AliExpress sometimes. You get, I don't even know what to call this color story. Earth tones? No red. Huh. All right, you know what? Let's just get to the test. Let's see how this, how, how these work. I'm not even, I'm not even sure what's happening anymore. Do I have room for all of these? Probably not. I'm just gonna try, ooh, Jesus. Let's see, I'm just gonna try a few of these. I'm not gonna try all of them because I imagine that the quality is not great regardless. So this is what the tip looks like. It's pretty fat. The brush pit, the, the the brush tip part is pretty fat. I mean, if you want to compare it to a Tombow that I haven't, if you want to compare it to a Tombow, I haven't absolutely ripped the shreds. Let's see. That's what the Tombow one looks like. So let me put these side by side. So, yeah. so the Tombow tip on top versus the what does it just say colors the, the aliexpress version brand of the dual brush pen tips like the tips look a little similar but as you can tell the tombow one is much more sharper than this one um let's look at the fine tip and as you can tell, the fine tips between the two look nothing alike at all. Let's try and get this out. Oh yeah, flip it. Ugh. So the Tombow one is on top and the AliExpress version is on the bottom. Like this one's more like a micron. This one is, I don't know, stubby. <laughs> I don't I don't ever, does anybody ever actually use that end of their Tombows? The, the fine tip part because I don't find the fine tip part that fine. So let's see. I mean, you get variation, it works. It's shadows, but it doesn't bleed through on a hundred GSM paper. I just wanna keep that in mind. Keep that you have you guys keep that in mind. The, the fine tip rates like a fine tip should. So when a dual brush marker tells me it's a fine tip, this is the tip I'm expecting. I'm not expecting the, the stub, the stubbiness that the Tombow has. Um, ooh Lord, this is a highlight color. I mean, push hard, get some juiciness. You gotta give it time to dry though. Um, I don't imagine that these will last very long cause they look like they're already starting to fray and I've just used them once. But, I'm gonna take the L on these ones. Do not buy these. <laughs> Do not buy the Art Tooley, the Art Tooleys from AliExpress. Get the like get the ones from Amazon if you really want something cheap. Get the 30 pack from Amazon if you want to even go cheaper. Get the Oh Hoo Hoo's 60 pack, and hopefully you'll actually get a red. <laughs> instead of, you know, all these purples and greens. I feel like this is just random. Like they randomly choose which ones you get. Cause this looks nothing like the picture. Like, I mean, the markers look like they do in the picture, but the colors look nothing like the picture. Okay, seriously. But I do like that it comes with a case so you can keep them all in place. All right, next thing. These are pretty simple. I bought fountain pens. 
Um, I bought popular dupes of fountain pens. And I know some people are crazy about their pens and that's great. You do you boo boo. But I wanted to um, buy them because that's my business. <laughs> so I have two Chinese versions of Alami. Is this Alami Safari? But you can obviously tell they are not Alamis because um, the tips here are iridescent, which I wanted. It's so cute. Um, let's see. They do come with their own <laughs> dupey Lamy um, converter. Because I think Lamy is the only one that does the red part here. Try and twist this back on. And I really wish that my ink was here so I could try these out for you guys to show you how they write. But that's not here yet. So there's another one, all black. And it doesn't actually have branding. Oh, wait, yep, there's the branding. There's the branding. I don't know what that is. Earring? I don't know. And again, with the converter. And then I have a, an AliExpress brand of a Twisby Eco. Oh, I forgot to tell you how much these cost. The the Fomis, the faux Lamis, um, these were $1.59 each versus Lord knows a lot. At least 30, 40 bucks. So this is the AliExpress version of the Twisby Eco. Or you can call it a a lamb <laughs> <laughs> Um, This bad boy, I paid, what did I pay? $3.45 for the actual Twisby Eco cost $31.50 before shipping. And are you pull or are you twist? Oh, you're a twist. Just kidding, it's a twist. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. This one's completely clear and it has, you know, Converter like a Twisby does. That's what the tip looks like. Even the bottom part is clear. This is actually not a bad looking pen. And it feels nice. It doesn't feel cheap. Like it feels decent. It's all plastic, but it feels nice. Well, these are metal. But it, it, this feels nice. I'm excited to try this whenever my ink decides to come in. And this little guy is all metal. This is what, um, like their version of a, what is it, Quaco? A Quaco Sport? But this one I paid $2.88 for, and that includes the clip, versus, I can't even tell you because they have so many, like their price range is between $25 and like $95, depending on what it is. But this is an all metal body and this thing is heavy, like super heavy. And this is what it looks like. Like the tip looks brass. And how do I open it? Oh, twist it to open it again. And it comes with its own little converter again with the converter I don't know what that spring is what is that so that yeah the converter has a little lever here you push and you pull oh it stops it from going all the way down I get it now although to be fair this is really tiny and I can't imagine me getting more than like three sentences out of this before I'd have to refill it again that is a terribly tiny converter but again, $2.88. What the heck do I know? All these are twist tops. All right, I got one more thing from AliExpress and I'm not gonna go into detail about it because I'm making a video about it all on its own and I've used it, is this guy. I don't even know if I can even get it in the shot. I mean, I can try. No, I got it in the shot pretty good. Is this guy. This is um, my new bag. Um, you can call it a purse. I use backpacks. I'm, I use purses every so often, but I prefer backpacks because it's just better on my shoulder. 
I bought this guy, which is supposed to be their version of a donut macaroon backpack, which is like a pocketed out version of a of the Swedish Konkin bag. But I went with this one because all the pockets. I need all the pockets. Konkins don't have pockets, and it, to me, you know, it's it's overly priced. This bad boy is the most expensive thing I bought on AliExpress and it was like 40 something bucks. But considering how the actual one can start like donut macaroon, I don't know why Chinese companies come up with this ridiculous name. But anyway, so considering that the donut macaroon starts at $80 and goes up, I mean 40 bucks, I'll take it. And it came super fast. But I'll go more into detail about that in, another video. I'll link all the shops down below for all the items that you saw here today to the best of my ability. And um, yeah, I don't know. Have you guys ever shopped at AliExpress? Like, how was that experience for you? Did you get some duds? Did you get some good things? Or did something surprise you in a good or bad way? You know, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Until next time. Bye.